Juan Ponce de Leon, a Spanish explorer and conquistador, is best known for his search for the legendary Fountain of Youth. In 1513, he was the first European to arrive in Florida, marking the beginning of European colonization in North America. The search for the Fountain of Youth is deeply associated with Ponce de Leon. However, there is no contemporary evidence that Ponce de Leon set out for Florida specifically in search of this mythical fountain. The legend was later popularized and added to his story to dramatize his explorations. In 1521, he organized a more ambitious colonization expedition. The main objective of this second expedition was to establish a permanent colony in Florida, taking advantage of the natural resources and expanding Spanish dominance in the New World. The expedition consisted of two ships, with approximately 200 men, women, priests, farmers, and artisans, as well as livestock and supplies necessary to establish a colony. Ponce de Leon and his party landed on the southwest coast of Florida, probably near the Charlotte Harbor region. The 1521 expedition was largely financed by Ponce de Leon from his personal fortune, demonstrating his commitment and ambition to establish a new colony. The colonists brought with them not only supplies and tools, but also European plants and seeds to begin sustainable agriculture in the new land. The Calusa were a powerful and warlike tribe that controlled much of southwest Florida. Their swift attacks and guerrilla tactics hampered the efforts of Ponce de Leon and other Spanish explorers. The Calusa used poisoned arrows, which proved lethal to many of the colonists. The nature of the poison and its application were well known to the natives, which gave them an advantage in conflicts. The expedition faced strong resistance from the indigenous natives, possibly the Calusa, who were defending their territory from foreign invasion. During one attack, Ponce de Leon was seriously wounded by a poisoned arrow in the thigh. Due to the severity of his wound and the indigenous resistance, the expedition was abandoned. The survivors returned to Cuba. Ponce de Leon was taken to Havana, where he died of his wounds in July 1521. Although the 1521 expedition failed to establish a permanent colony, it laid the groundwork for future exploration and colonization efforts in Florida. The resistance encountered underscored the difficulties European colonists faced when attempting to settle in lands inhabited by native peoples. This expedition is notable not only for the attempted colonization, but also for the difficulties and dangers faced by early settlers in the New World. Prior to his explorations in Florida, Ponce de Leon was the first governor of Puerto Rico. His administration in Puerto Rico provided him with experience and knowledge that he sought to apply in Florida. His time in Puerto Rico was also marked by conflicts with the Taino Indians, which influenced his expectations and tactics in Florida. Ponce de Leon's expeditions contributed significantly to European knowledge of the geography of Florida and the southeastern coast of North America. Ponce de Leon became an iconic figure in the history of American exploration and his name is associated with several places in Florida, including the city of Ponce de Leon and several historical monuments. In recent decades, archaeologists have found artifacts and evidence of Spanish and native interactions in Florida, providing a better understanding of the challenges they faced and the cultures they encountered. These additional details highlight the complexity and impact of Ponce de Leon's expedition, showing both his ambitions and the difficulties he faced in his attempt to colonize Florida.